Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have discussed some problems on page 49. There was a homework. Let us check the answer now. Find three fractions larger than root 2 and less than root 3. We know the approximate value of root 2 is 1.414 and approximate value of root 3 is 1.732. Clearly 1.5 is larger than 1.4 that is 1.5 is larger than root 2. Therefore 1.6, 1.7 etc are also larger than root 2. Now look at root 3. 1.7 is less than 1.732 that means 1.7 is less than root 3. Therefore, 1.6, 1.5, etc. are also less than root 3. That means 1.5, 1.6 and 1.7 are in between root 2 and root 3. Now, let us convert these decimals into fractions. 0.5 means 1 by 2. Therefore, 1.5 is 1 and half. 0.6 means 6 by 10. Therefore, 1.6 is 1, 6 by 10 and 6 by 10 is equal to 3 by 5. Therefore, we can write it as 1, 3 by 5. 0.7 means 7 by 10. Therefore, 1.7 is 1, 7 by 10. That means 1 and half, 1, 3 by 5 and 1, 7 by 10 are in between root 2 and root 3. Here, we are asked to find 3 fractions larger than root 2 and less than root 3. If you are asked to find more numbers, you can do like this. 1.42 is larger than 1.414. Therefore, 1 1.42, 1.43, etc. are all more than root 2. The same way, 1.73 is less than 1.732. Therefore, 1.73, 1.72, etc. are all less than root 3. That means 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, etc. up to 1.73 are in between root 2 and root 3. There are 32 numbers. Converting them into fractions, we will get 32 fractions between root 2 and root 3. Today, let us discuss the next section, addition and subtraction. At first, let us do a problem. What is the perimeter of a right triangle with lengths of perpendicular sides 1 meter? Let us take a right angle triangle with length of the perpendicular sides 1 meter. Let us give a name for convenience. Let it be ABC. Perimeter of a triangle is sum of all the three sides. We know only two sides. So first of all, we have to find the third side. That is, we have to find AC. AC is the hypotenuse of this triangle. And we know hypotenuse square is equal to B square plus altitude square. Or AC square equal to AB square plus BC square. Therefore, AC equal to root of AB square plus BC square. AB is 1 and BC is also 1. So this can be written as root of 1 square plus 1 square. 1 square is 1. Therefore, this can be written as root of 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Therefore, AC equal to root 2. Now, we have got all the three sides of this triangle. Now, let us find the perimeter. Perimeter of triangle ABC is AB plus BC plus AC. Now, let us give the values of these sides. AB is 1, BC is 1 and AC is root 2. Therefore, the perimeter is 1 plus 1 plus root 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. Now, we have to add root 2 to 2. And this is written like this. 2 plus root 2. Means root 2 has to be added to 2. Now, if you need approximate value, you can give the value of root 2 here. Let me take root 2 is approximately equal to 1.414. Then the approximate value of the perimeter is 2 plus 1.414. Adding together we get 
3.414 that is the perimeter is approximately equal to 3.414 meters here i have found the perimeter up to three decimal places we know 1000 millimeters is equal to 1 meter and 100 centimeters equal to 1 meter so here i have found up to millimeters if you need up to centimeters you can give root 2 is approximately equal to 1.41 and if you need only one decimal place you can take root 2 is approximately equal to 1.4 so we can say perimeter is approximately equal to 3.4 or it is approximately equal to 3.14 or it is approximately equal to 3.414 etc another problem suppose another right triangle is drawn as in the picture with the hypotenuse of the first triangle as base what is the perimeter of this triangle what is the difference of the perimeters of these two triangles this is the triangle which we have seen in the first problem and another right angle triangle is drawn with this hypotenuse as base we have to find the perimeter of this right angle triangle at first let us give a name so we have to find the perimeter of triangle ACD. We know AC is root 2 meters and CD is 1 meters. We have to find AD at first. AD is the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. And we know hypotenuse equal to root of base square plus altitude square. Therefore AD equal to root of AC square plus CD square. AC is root 2 and CD is 1. Replacing the values we get root of root 2 square plus 1 square. What is root 2 square? That means finding the square root of 2 and squaring it. Let us take root 9 that is equal to 3. Now if you square it again we get 9 itself. This is like adding 2 to a number and subtracting 2. The number remains unchanged. Finding the square root and squaring again means the number remains unchanged. Therefore, root 2 all square means 2 itself. Find the root of 2 and square it again means it remains unchanged. So, root 2 all square is 2 and 1 square is 1. So, this can be written as root of 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. Therefore, AD equal to root 3 meters. Now, we have got all the three sides of the triangle ACD. Let us find the perimeter now. Perimeter equal to AC plus CD plus AD. AC is root 2, CD is 1 and AD is root 3. Therefore, perimeter equal to root 2 plus 1 plus root 3. Let me write 1 at first and this can be written as 1 plus root 2 plus root 3. So we have to add root 2 and root 3 to 1 and this cannot be simplified we have to write this as it is. Now if you want the approximate value we can give the values of root 2 and root 3 in this expression. Let me find the perimeter up to 3 decimal places or up to millimeters then I have to give the values of root 2 and root 3 up to 3 decimal places. So this is approximately equal to 1 plus 1.414 plus 1.732 and that is approximately equal to 4.146 meters. That is perimeter of this triangle is approximately equal to 4.146 meters. Here we have found the perimeter up to millimeters. As in the previous case, if you need only up to centimeters, you can write 4.14 meters. Or if you need only one decimal place, you can take it as 4.1 meters. Now we have to find the difference between the perimeters of these two triangles. We have already got the perimeter of triangle ABC as 2 plus root 2. And the perimeter of triangle ACD is 1 plus root 2 plus root 3. To find the difference of the perimeters, let us subtract perimeter of triangle ABC from perimeter of triangle ACD. That is 1 plus root 2 plus root 3 minus 2 plus root 2. Now let us remove the brackets. This can be written as it is. 
but this minus sign should be given to both the numbers inside the bracket. Then this is minus 2 and this is minus root 2. So this can be written as 1 plus root 2 plus root 3 minus 2 minus root 2. Root 2 minus root 2 is 0. What remains now? 1 plus root 3 minus 2. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So this can be written as root 3 minus 1. That means the difference between the perimeters is root 3 minus 1 meters. To get the approximate value, we can give the approximate value of root 3 here. That is approximately equal to 1.732 minus 1 or that is approximately equal to 0.732 meters. That means the difference between the perimeters of these two triangles is approximately equal to 0.732 meters. Next problem, suppose another right triangle is drawn on the top of the second triangle as in the figure. What is the perimeter of the third triangle and how much more is this perimeter than the perimeter of the second triangle? This is the second right triangle which we have seen in the last problem. A new right angle triangle with its hypotenuse as base is drawn. We have to find the perimeter of this right angle triangle. Let us give a name at first. We have to find the perimeter of triangle ADE. AD is root 3 meters and DE is 1 meter. We have to find AE at first. AE is the hypotenuse of this triangle. We know hypotenuse equal to root of base square plus altitude square. Therefore, A e equal to root of A d square plus D e square. A d is root 3. Therefore, A d square equal to root 3 square. D e is 1. Therefore, D e square is equal to 1 square. So, this can be written as root of root 3 square plus 1 square. Root 3 square is 3 and 1 square is 1. So, this can be written as root of 3 plus 1. 3 plus 1 equal to 4. Therefore, this can be written as root of 4 and root of 4 is 2. That means AE is 2 meters. Now, we can find the perimeter of triangle ADE. The perimeter of triangle ADE is AD plus DE plus AE. AD is root 3, DE is 1 and AE is 2. So, this can be written as root 3 plus 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. So, this can be written as 3 plus root 3. That is, the perimeter of this triangle is 3 plus root 3 meters. Now, if approximate value is needed, we can give the approximate value of root 3 here. That is, perimeter is approximately equal to 3 plus 1.732 or 4.732 meters. That is, the perimeter of this triangle is approximately equal to 4.732 meters. Now we have to find how much more is the perimeter of this triangle than the second triangle. We have already found the perimeter of triangle ACD as 1 plus root 2 plus root 3. Now we have got the perimeter of triangle ADE as 3 plus root 3. Let us find the difference of the perimeters. For that let us subtract 1 plus root 2 plus root 3 from 3 plus root 3. That is 3 plus root 3 minus 1 plus root 2 plus root 3. Let us remove the bracket at first. This can be written as it is. But this minus sign should be given to each number within the bracket. So this can be written as 3 plus root 3 minus 1 minus root 2 minus root 3. Root 3 minus root 3 is 0. What remains now? 3 minus 1 minus root 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. So, this can be written as 2 minus root 2. So, the difference between the perimeters is 2 minus root 2. Now, to get the approximate value, let us give the approximate value of root 2 here. So, this is approximately equal to 2 minus 1.414 or that is approximately equal to 0.586 meters. That means the perimeter of the third triangle is approximately 0.586 meters more than the perimeter of the second triangle.
Today we have discussed the section addition and subtraction where we have seen how to add and subtract expressions involving root 2, root 3 etc. Now there is a homework. The hypotenuse of a right triangle is 1 and half meters and another side is half meter. Calculate its perimeter correct to a centimeter. In the next video we will discuss problems on page 52. Till then bye.